Did you know that you can add a H5P interactive activity inside your page content? So it's not just H5P interactive content as its own page, but you can embed the interactive H5P activity in, in line or inside a normal page, a normal Moodle page. So I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. My name is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au. Great to have you here. And don't forget, check down in the description for any courses that I have on the Moodle LMS, on developing in Moodle, and all sorts of other online education courses. Keep an eye on that because there will be some new courses coming up very soon as well. So if you need to know what they are, uh, make sure you go and check out those courses. So let's have a look at what we're going to do and then go and put this all together. In our course, we have a some content. It's just a normal Moodle LMS page. It's an introduction to a course that is one of the courses you can go and check out, which is Introduction to Adobe Illustrator for Web Developers. So this is actually really clever and useful, for, especially for online education development. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to have a quiz just in here somewhere, just a, a single multiple choice quiz in line with the content. So it just jumps in in between here and here maybe will do that asks a question about the Adobe Illustrator platform just to keep this content more interesting and make people think a bit about what it is that they're doing. It's also relevant because it refers to the SVG or scalable vector graphics as well. How do we do that? Quite simple. I've already created the H5P activity. If you're wondering where that is and what it looks like, we go to our content bank back on our main page. And in our content bank, I'm just going to jump down to the H5P demo course. And in there you will see a multiple choice experiment. And we'll just have a look at that. And it says, which of these formats can you export in using Adobe Illustrator? And then we need to choose, or the, the user student can choose which one is an actual exportable format from Adobe Illustrator. And notice it includes SVG, which is the scalable vector graphics. So how do we put that into our page or in line with our content? Let's go back to our content, go to settings. Here is our normal editing page that we have where we normally edit content. And we can just put the questions in and I was thinking it would be suitable to have it a bit further down, just here, where we talk about exporting SVG. So let's go into here. Notice there's a H5P button over here. We'll choose the H5P button and I'm going to browse the repository. And the repository we wanted, remember, is the uh, H5P course. So I need to go down to our H5P demonstration course folder and find the multiple choice experiments activity. Choose that one. The naming is very important with this so you know where you're going. Select this and insert. What it does is it comes up with a panel that looks a bit like that. i just space everything around a bit better, get rid of that extra spacing. So it just shows H5P. It doesn't give us any more information other than if you click on it, it will tell you the name of what it's going to grab. So let's save and display. So here's our course introduction. And then we'll work through five different projects using the Adobe Illustrator file, file then export it as SVG. Then the question is, which of these formats can you export in using Adobe Illustrator? You can choose DACX or you can choose whatever the correct one is. I know what the correct ones are because that's the three correct ones. I didn't actually tell them there was three correct either. They have to work that out. But you can go check and it shows you that they're all correct. And then they can just keep on going and reading the rest of their content. Because I'm an administrator, I also get the edit H5P content button there. So I can jump back in and fix something up if there's a typo or any issues that need changing. So that's all there is to embedding a H5P activity inside your page content to keep the activities in line with the information. It makes it flow so much better than students jumping out to an activity then back into more content. Very clever, very simple, Moodle 4.0. I'm on the Boost theme. My name is Chris Richter, ricochet.com.au, and I'll talk to you again very soon with some more H5P activities and how to create them. But also check out the courses that I have in the description on Moodle and online learning, including the Adobe Illustrator for Web Developers class. I'll talk to you again very, very soon.